Well, the daughter of a big star is in Sarasota today. But the venue where Ray Charles' daughter Sheila sang and spoke might surprise you. ABC 7's Linda Carson joins us now with more. Linda? Scott, Sheila Ray Charles made her appearance at the Sarasota County Jail. The prisoners came out to hear her because she's Ray Charles' daughter. But they left inspired by the story of her terrible downhill spiral and her miraculous recovery. Re Sheila Ray Charles and her husband Michael Stepko take their prison ministry called One Way Up all over the world. We go to prisons, we go to homeless shelters, we go to um, juvenile detention centers. First Michael gets the attention of the inmates by telling them he's been just where they are now. I served time in Ohio. I served time for um, counterfeiting securities was my federal case and my state case um, is I had guns. Then Sheila tells her story. All the lying I had done, the cheating, the stealing, the robbing, the abandoning my children, my crack cocaine addicted son who was, you know, less than a pound when he was born, the, the hurt and the damage that I had done to my family. She served time in federal prison three different times and lost custody of her children. Only got to see my daughter for a brief moment and one hour basically after she was born. And, um, and there I was in prison and I had lost all five of my children and my career and my life and everything in my life was destroyed. Oh, beautiful. She says her famous father, Ray Charles, was no help. That's all he cared about was his music. You know, it was the, mu the music, the women, and then the kids. You know, I used to call him the do drop in daddy because he do drop in when he feel like it. The women applauded, laughed and sometimes sobbed because her story was so similar to theirs. She told them she hit rock bottom in that prison cell and that's when she turned her life around. It was the hurt that drove me to call out to God. Today, clean and sober, Sheila Ray Charles has dedicated her life to helping others. Um, with God using me to go back into the prisons, to go back into recovery groups where the need is. And as she ended, the prisoners spontaneously gathered around her and joined hands in prayer. Just hearing her life experiences and applying her life experience to mine, like I know I can, the more I believe and the further I go with my belief and my faith, I know I can make it. And Sheila says that she's just sorry that both her parents died before she made her transformation from inmate to inspiration. They never got to see her reach out to help others. And the good news, she got her kids back. Oh, that's awesome. That happened just a few years ago. It is an inspiring story, it and I'm sure, sure she, she feels that they're looking down on her, yes. her transformation now. So She said that exactly. Great story, Linda. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, powerful message. Wow.